Right, so this is a quick video just showing you um, the process really on performing an O2 sensor delete um, on the cheap. Um, this is on a 5th gen VFR. Uh, the, these are the O2 sensors, there's two of them. There's just under here on the collector box on the exhaust. The wires for the O2 sensors run through the bike. You can see a couple here and connect up here at the top. Um, now the reason why I'm doing an O2 sensor delete on this bike is because I've installed an aftermarket Delkavik exhaust and it's a little bit more free flowing. Uh, the bike doesn't, I mean the bike runs fine, sounds fine, it doesn't like to cruise at a constant RPM and I've done some research and found out that that's caused by these O2 sensors. The bike only uses them while it's cruising at those speeds. Um, so yeah basically i'm just going to disconnect them and to get around error lights showing up we're just going to shove a couple of resistors in here i'll show you what the bike does while it's started up and you can see the light flashing obviously that's not ideal because that's that's annoying we know it's not an issue but it's annoying um so i'll show you what it does Okay, so you saw the light flash and flash a few times. And if you want to know the reasons behind more detailed why I'm getting rid of the O2 sensors, or disconnect them rather, is you should watch my other video on that. But um, basically, you need two 330 ohm resistors. And the remedy for this is to look at both of these connections here you can see on the clip side where the clip went in there's like this bit where it latches onto on the top of the connector so looking at it this way with that clip on the top take your resistor bend it over like this and just shove it into that connector you want to do the same for this one. I'll just do that now. Shove it in, that should go in fairly easy, he says. Just push it into that case. You've got both of them sitting there like that. I mean, you can tidy them up, trim them up, and then put some insulating tape over them so they don't make contact anywhere. But I'll just show you now how that has resolved it you'd obviously with resistors you don't have to worry about it. there is no pol polarity to think about you just shove them in any way around it doesn't matter now we'll turn the bike on you'll see that this fi light doesn't flash anymore doesn't come on because the bike thinks that the o2 sensors are connected again it you can worry about tidying it up and making it look pretty i'll just route these cables up here tie them out of the way because that way if i ever want to connect them again i can that's an option i haven't cut anything out but no the bike runs absolutely perfect without this connected with it connected it's horrible and doesn't want to cruise at a constant speed so yeah thanks for watching